My name is Kainton Eugenius and I'm very excited. I'm starting this new class in JavaScript. So we are starting a brand new tutorial in JavaScript and hopefully by two and a half months, maybe between now and March, April, May, we should have completed this JavaScript course. And the reason I'm doing it is because we hope that in 2019, we'll develop a whole lot of JavaScript programmers. And the reason is very clear. I'm going to give you four reasons why everyone needs to learn JavaScript. Somehow, almost everything now depends on JavaScript. So let me give you these four reasons why you need to learn JavaScript immediately. So the first one is that it is easy. So let's take it from there, it is easy. Compared to other languages like Java, or C++, Python, and so on, it seems we kind of forget JavaScript, and we kind of forget that many things depend on JavaScript. So it is easy to learn. I tell you in this course, we are starting now. This is tutorial one. In tutorial two, we quickly set up everything we need to use and start writing JavaScript programs. What you simply need to do is to subscribe and click on the notification button so that you get notified when I make new lessons. So just subscribe and you get updated every time a new lesson is going to be made. And we are actually going to be moving pretty fast in this course because it's really going to be easy. So if you're a beginner, um, this is going to be good for you because yes, it assumes that there is no knowledge of programming before now. If you are somewhere in between, you've learned JavaScript a little before, then this is also good for you because you move towards becoming an expert or professional Java program, JavaScript programmer. We are actually going to build a complete project along this line. Another reason you need to learn JavaScript is that there is no prerequisite. So JavaScript does not assume any knowledge of programming. You don't need to be a computer programmer. You don't need to be a computer science student or a software engineer. You simply need to have your computer and you are ready to learn. So that is why this is a beginner-friendly programming language. All right. Another reason is that all the tools you need, they are free and they are lightweight. So you don't need uh, several gigabytes of RAM or several uh, uh, hundreds of gigs of storage in your system. It is lightweight. You simply need your browser and you need a notepad. So you need a notepad application which actually comes with Windows. If you want to go a bit further, you can actually install Notepad++. So you can see I have Notepad++. You can also write JavaScript in Notepad. Then we have Jupyter Notebook. This is for Python. We are not going to use it. Then we also have Visual Studio Code. So we have Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's also lightweight. You can use it as well. So all the tools you need is free. So you have just your browser. You don't need to install it. It's already there in your system. And you need Notepad or Notepad++. Another reason is that JavaScript gives you a head start for other programming languages. So most, most programming frameworks uh, depend on JavaScript. So that is why a number of languages and framework derive from JavaScript. Today you've heard of AngularJS, you've heard of Bootstrap, you've heard of ReactedJS, TypeScript. All these are actually modified from JavaScript. So JavaScript is the basis for all of this. If you want to get up to speed with all this framework, and I'm sure in time, many of such frameworks will actually be coming up and companies will be needing programmers on this framework. It will be easier for you to understand these frameworks if you learn JavaScript. In fact, if you know JavaScript, all these other frameworks will really be easy. You can actually get up to speed with them in just two weeks. So that is the importance of JavaScript. And again, JavaScript uh, also have similar syntax with the Java programming language. They are two different things, but it has similar syntax with Java programming language. So that gives you a head start as well if you want to learn Java. But that is not very important in case you want to end with, uh, stop with JavaScript. It's also OK. And finally, there is this concept of vanilla JavaScript. Now, Vanilla JavaScript is a term used to describe pure JavaScript code. Now, people use certain tools to generate JavaScript code. For instance, we have frameworks, as I've mentioned before. These frameworks can actually generate JavaScript code because they contain a whole lot of custom codes and functions that has been developed for you. And so you simply use functionalities built into these frameworks. But 
a JavaScript programmer should be able to write JavaScript code from the scratch and that is what we want to teach you how to do. If you know the basics, then you can actually go further to build more complex codes, functions or even a framework yourself. So vanilla means uh, it's not extended using additional libraries or frameworks. So we start with simple JavaScript code, now go to the see how we can use the frameworks to write more. So this tutorial is free, it's a procedure based lesson just like the Python tutorial we discussed before. What it means is that all the procedure, all the code snippets, all the mouse clicks and keyboard uh, press we need to do in this program or in this course is already written down. So that is, as a, as a instructor, that is what I'm following. So if you miss something, the procedure I'm following is written down there in the website. So I'm going to just show you the website and I'm also going to leave the link to the website in the description box. So for instance, this first tutorial, tutorial one, as you can see, is this page. For all the tutorial, tutorial two, there will be the second page that will come along with this. So this overview, we have why learn JavaScript. This is what we've discussed so far, the best way to learn benefits of JavaScript. So this is tutorial one, so it's procedure based. The next tutorial will also be here and you have to follow it if you want. So it's going to be really easy. I'd like to call, uh, recommend you follow everything, be self-disciplined, try to make notes if you want, and also try to not skip any of these lessons and be sure that in just two and a half months that I guarantee you, you will be an expert JavaScript programmer and that I'm telling you from my experience of programming. So uh, click on subscribe button, subscribe right now, activate notification. Uh, so if you have challenges, leave a comment, uh, mention the challenges you have, what, some, what you would like to get clarified. And in this way, you will be able to follow easily in this course we are taking. So I'd like to thank you for learning and we move over to the next lesson, which is setting up JavaScript on your local machine.